welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan if you are new here hello and welcome my name is Katrina and I'm an Australian mum with two young kids and I like to share our weekly family of four Australian grocery haul and meal plan here on this channel I normally share it every single Monday this video is going to be a day late though because I did go away for the weekend and we got back later than expected so I've had to wait on my groceries and then not only that I put in my online grocery order and it was like three hours late from the time slot that I was meant to pick it up and anyway when I rang them up they just said that their whole system was down they've been busy things like that so that was fine so it is now extremely late here in Australia while I'm filming this grocery haul the kids are in bed which is kind of a good thing because it helps me be able to film it without having to edit too much of this out to stop you guys hearing all of the ruckus that happens in the evening routine with two little ones under three it can get a bit noisy sometimes <laughs> anyway on this channel I'm not sure if I mentioned I like to share the grocery hauls and meal plans every week and I also like to share lots of cleaning motivation here as well so if you love that kind of stuff I would love to have you stick around hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or just for support anyway because I really appreciate it so first of all we're just going to go ahead and get into the meal plan I'll show you that first and then I'm going to show you what groceries that we got it is about 37 degrees here in Melbourne today so it is boiling so I apologize that the aircon is running in the background if that's a bit noisy I'm really sorry about that I was meant to turn it off before filming but I completely forgot now there was one more thing I was going to say what was it oh that's right if you wanted to play along this week and take a guess at how much all these groceries were. I would love to have you do that in the comments down below. Take a guess of what you think this was for our Australian family of four. And at the end, I'm going to let you know what they cost. So go ahead and leave your guesses down below in the comments. Now let's get into the meal plan. I'll let you know what we are having for dinner this week. Okay, so just again, before I go through these, I am so sorry about the aircon noise in the background. It is just way too hot to have these groceries out and not have the aircon on. I think I would be just a melted mess on the floor. But anyways, on Monday, we are having ravioli bolognese and I'm actually gonna be making up some bolognese sauce finally to chuck in the freezer. We've been out for so long now and I'm so sick of the jar sauces. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that this week. Then on Tuesday, we're having pork pine balls with mash. My best friend actually gave me this recipe and I am so excited to have it again because we haven't had that in a really long time and then on Wednesday we're having chicken and broccoli carbonara tortellini that was a lot of words but that is one of my favorite meals so I'm excited to have that one on Thursday we are having slow cooked pork ribs with sweet potato mash on Friday we're just going to be having leftovers because I'm sure with all of those meals there is going to be plenty of leftovers and then on Saturday we're having pizza and garlic bread and on Sunday if all the leftovers are gone we're probably just going to have toasted sandwiches to make it nice and easy and have an early night for the kids so that we can get into to Monday with a fresh start and get back to all of the more serious meals I suppose but anyway let's get into the grocery haul and I will let you know what we got this week okay so just gonna start over here with the yogurt so I went ahead and got four of these banana yogurts and four of these strawberry yogurts for my toddler and then I went ahead and grabbed five of these oh sorry yeah five of these dairy-free coconut yogurts my my one and a half year old for some reason just can't have dairy and I don't know why she just reacts a little bit to it not too much but I just thought I'd try out the dairy-free options anyway it can't hurt her and this is the one that she's liked the most I tried a different one I wish I could remember the name but I really can't but it just she really didn't like it but this one seems to be really tasty she loves it and it goes down really well so I like to give her that one when I give my toddler these ones so otherwise she feels like she's missing out because she does love the taste of these but she reacts to it so I need to make sure that I'm playing fair and make sure that she has something that she can have out of the pouch as well. So I've gone ahead and grabbed those for her. And then I did grab two loaves of bread, but we got refunded. Um, they must have run out of bread or something. It must be crazy busy down there. I don't even know what's going on. Maybe the pandemic and things, because I think the numbers are rising a little bit. Maybe people are panic buying again. I'm not really sure. Or maybe it's just, I don't normally shop um, on this day of the week. So maybe it's just like the day where they're low on stock and they get like all their stock in tomorrow. I'm not really sure. But anyway, we just went ahead and grabbed one loaf when we got there because they didn't have the low GI loaf that I normally get. And then we grabbed a big two liter pack of um, container of tomato sauce just to refill the smaller bottle that we have. We go through that like crazy. My partner and my two year old are tomato sauce obsessed. I absolutely despise the stuff, but they love it. So we go through that a lot. Then I went ahead and grabbed two packets of these ricotta and roast vegetable tortellini. Then I grabbed myself a shampoo and conditioner. I just got this Tresemme um, Damage Protect five times stronger hair one. I have been using the um, Alvive, um, the 
it's it's a really good one it's like red and white container and i love it but it makes my hair go oily really quick and i just find that this tresemme is really good for letting me be able to only wash my hair like every third day or something it just stops the oil from coming in so quickly so i like that one it's a little bit more drying i suppose it's probably not good for people that have dry hair in the first place but i don't know i'm not I'm not going to give a review on those because I just, I'm not a hair expert, but they work well for me. They're the ones I love. And yeah, don't you find it funny if you're in Australia that things like this never had the Australian like logo on it or anything like that before the pandemic. And now everything's changing their packaging. Everything's making sure they have an Australian logo, which I love. I'm not complaining about because I think it's great to know what's made in Australia and things like that. But you still have to be extremely careful because see, this one actually says um, bottles made with Australian recycled plastic and recyclable so that's just talking about the plastic it doesn't actually mean that the actual product is made in australia so i don't know like we could have gotten that in a massive container and they just filled these bottles in australia so just looks can be deceiving don't always trust that this is an australian product just because of that i probably should check before i bad mouth them i probably should check if it is an australian product yeah made in australia sorry so it is, but anyway, there are some products that do have the Australian logo on it, but it's only like 10% Australian ingredients and they will still throw it on. So there mustn't be many strict laws on that stuff at the moment. So I just want to mention that while I was on the subject, but then for fruit, I've gone ahead and grabbed some bananas this week. I've gotten some mini red apples for my toddler. I've got some carrots for some roast veggies and just to snack on. Still got some dip from last week, some, um, spicy capsicum dip that I can use up with these carrots. Then I've grabbed five yellow nectarines. It's, um, oh, what are these fruits called? Uh, seed fruits or um, the ones with the, is it seed fruits? Yeah, I don't know, but it's seed fruit season or something like that. So whatever fruits are like these, it is the season for them. I've gone ahead and grabbed two kilos of green apples. So I've got one kilo just to be eaten by me and my toddler, of course. And then the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and make a big batch of apple sauce for my one and a half year old an apple a day keeps the doctor away right and then i've gone ahead and grabbed a punnet of strawberries i've only grabbed one the kids are getting a bit sick of them and i don't really want them at the moment so i will just grab one chuck one or two on their plates for breakfast in the mornings and then i've grabbed this whole bag of uh, i think it's 500 gram bag of frozen blueberries i chuck that in my one and a half year old's oatmeal in the morning then i've grabbed these snacks for my toddler he loves these frisp strawberry crisps i talk about these a lot in my grocery hauls they're just really good they're just 100 natural freeze-dried strawberries they're whole they're not sliced and he just loves those they taste like pure sugar but it's not but it really is so so sweet so if you like sweet things give that one a try then i have grabbed these wallaby bites this week uh with chia the perfect little snack crunchy nuts chocolates dip sorry crunchy nuts chocolate dipped with vanilla it looks amazing it's australian made and i just thought this was really funny no wallabies were harmed in the making of this product but it just looked really good i thought i'd give it a try um they're made locally or something like that and yeah, it just, they just looked good. They were $4, so uh, it's not really on the cheaper end of things, but thought I would give them a try this week. I grabbed two big packs of the toilet paper. As I mentioned earlier, the numbers are starting to creep up a little bit, and I don't want to get caught in another panic buy with, um, you know, the pandemic and everything. And I just thought I want to make sure I've got enough toilet paper for a long time, so I don't need to be stressed about toilet paper running out in the shops again. So anyway, then I've gone ahead and grabbed two kilos of these, um, brushed potatoes i don't know just the brown potatoes i've just grabbed those because we do have a bunch of sweet potatoes diced up in the freezer so that is for the sweet potato mash we're having this week and then this one is for the pork fine balls and mash and then hopefully there'll be a sun left over for the night that we have leftovers just because it's written as leftovers on the meal plan doesn't mean it's just things that like are already cooked it means like leftover veggies as well that haven't been cooked yet i'll just chuck them on the pan or you know boil them up to make mashed potato or something like that so it's just to make sure we get rid of everything and that nothing gets wasted you know during the week before the next grocery haul then for myself i've gone ahead and grabbed these milk chocolate popcorn bars and then also in the salted caramel and almond popcorn bars if you guys haven't tried these these are addictive as like for a health bar well you know healthy enough for a health bar these are probably by far the best muesli bar type thing I've ever had in my life. Like both flavors, they're amazing. I never get sick of them. I normally get other like chalk coated ones because all the muesli bars are better when they're covered in chocolate, right? But they just, I get sick of them. And then with these ones, I just, it's impossible to get sick of them. They're so light and airy. They don't feel heavy. There's not like a whole lot of chewing to do. Like 
they don't just get you know they're just really good with the popcorn i just think it's such a smart idea the way they've made these and i love them and i recommend them 100 percent then i've gone ahead and grabbed an a2 milk and i've also grabbed two one liter of the devondale long life milk to put in the cupboard and also six of these little milks now we had a problem we went away for the weekend and when we come back the milk was so thick and gluggy it was like it was disgusting i don't know what happened to it we still had a day before like the use by date had gone out so i don't even know how it happened the fridge was shut like it was just really strange it, I looked it up on Google and apparently like maybe some bacteria got into it or something, but nobody drinks out of the carton here. I double checked that nobody had like, I'm just really confused how that happened. So because that happened, we actually didn't have any milk for my toddler cereal this morning, which was like a huge drama. So I went ahead and made sure that I've grabbed some long life so that we definitely have some in the fridge as backup that aren't opened, you know, in case something like that happens again, these things last for like, I don't know, what's the use by date on these? So they go till like September this year. So at least I am safe till September this year. I will have milk for my kids cereal and there will be no more meltdowns. So I'm totally happy to go ahead and buy that and be safe. Better safe than sorry, I like to say. And then I've gone ahead and grabbed these Ritz biscuits. I love those with some tuna for lunch and my toddler loves those with peanut butter on them. She's not very good at eating sandwiches and things like that. For a one and a half year old, she's um, you know, picking up the eating thing a lot slower than my three year old did. So um, I'm just, you know, trying to, keep things on the safer side for her. So I still sort of, you know, I break them up for her still in half. I'm just, you know, I'm super anxious about the whole choking thing with kids. So I'm probably over the top, but I don't know, rather safe than sorry, as I just said. So I've gone ahead and grabbed four double packs of this garlic bread. This is the home brand garlic bread at Woolworths and I absolutely love it. I've tried the other brands. They are just not as good. This is just, it wins. I don't care that it's cheaper. Like it just, it wins so much. I'd pay double for what this is just because it tastes better than the branded ones. I've gone ahead and grabbed a bag of shredded cheese. It's probably the first and only time you will see shredded cheese on my channel. I normally buy it in the block and shred it myself because it just tastes so much better and fresher and it's just lighter and things like that. I just do not have time this week to be grading it up. I've already got so much meal prep to do. I just want to save myself this one time and I know I'll regret it because I know I won't like it as much, but you know, it will just, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So then I've gone ahead and grabbed one tin of carbonara sauce here as well. That's for the uh, chicken, broccoli, tortellini, carbonara. Those words all got mixed up, but that's for that meal this week anyway. And then I've gone ahead and grabbed a kilo bag of these chicken dino snacks for my toddler. They had sold out of these for so long, but then now I think I realized why, because they've changed the packaging completely. So that might be why they took it off the shelves. And then I've gone ahead and grabbed these pork ribs, uh, slow cooked pork ribs. So that is just a really easy way. They're cooked in 30 minutes. So I'm excited to try those. I haven't had them before, but it's an easy way to have a fancy meal on the table for every once in a while, if you wanted to try that out. And then I've gone ahead and grabbed two packets. Actually, I only brought one, but they've gone ahead and given me two. So that's fine because I can go ahead and freeze those anyway, or I can make them up for lunches during the week. So I've got two packets of breast fillets here. And then I've gone ahead and grabbed two packets of this Heart Smart Beef Mint. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one packet of that for the porcupine balls. And then the other packet I'm going to use for the um, pasta bolognese sauce that I'm gonna make up for the freezer. I think I've mentioned everything now. Actually, no, I grabbed some breadcrumbs. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I think I skipped over that one, but breadcrumbs are also for the pork pine balls that I'm gonna be making this week. Okay, friends, so that is it for this week's Australian grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you got some great ideas out of today's video. If you did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and also go ahead and leave me down below a comment of what you were having this week for dinner or what your favorite meal was last week that you had. I love getting meal ideas from you all just as much as I love sharing them with you. Now, if you went ahead and played along with the game at the start of this video, guessing how much these groceries were for my family of four, Thank you. I love it when you guys play along. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you know the price of those now. So they were $211.11. So if you guessed around the $210 mark, you were correct. Now I just want to finish this video with saying thank you so much for watching and also if you have any recommendations for a good waterproof mascara let me know in the comments down below because I already look like I have a black eye and I've only had this mascara on for like 15 minutes just to film this video. So leave your recommendations down below. This tired mama would really appreciate it. Now I've got to get going. I need to get this video edited and up for you guys in the morning and I need some sleep. It is so late. It is like 10 o'clock here now and that is way past my bedtime so I hope you all have a really great night, day, whatever time it is where you you are at the moment and I will see you all again very soon. Bye! You set my wheels in motion.